Most of us want to refinish a piece of furniture because it's a relatively cheap and easy way just to update something that you've either bought or that someone's given to you. However, scrolling through YouTube for tutorials can sometimes throw up a situation like this. Let's start with our project. I have here a solid mahogany Queen Anne dresser just crying out for some love. And don't forget, your tools are very important. Paintbrushes. I only use unicorn haired paintbrushes. Last but not least, you can't complete this project without this $2,000 stripping, sanding and staining machine. I was sent it free from the company. What the f***? <laughs> We get it, right? Not everyone's got a huge shop and we don't all have access to the most expensive tools and equipment. So what I want to do in this video today is show how you can update something like this, something that's relatively inexpensive, something that we've probably all got sitting around collecting dust somewhere. Now there are obviously some tools and some supplies that you're gonna need. We can't get away from that. But the ones I'm going to use here are things that you can pick up from any hardware supply store. You can pick them up from Walmart. Even the gel stain that I'm going to use, I'm going to link below. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. So it's not something that you've got to make special journeys out to get or anything like that. Now for the peanut gallery in the comments section below, which I know will come. There are absolutely different ways to refinish furniture, absolutely stripping and using a penetrating stain and, and all the fancy stuff. Yes, that is the correct way to do it. But you know what? We don't all have access to a shop and we don't all have access to power tools. So this video is for those of us that want to just do a quick makeover on something like this. I'm going to update the hardware and I'm going to show you how you can take this piece of furniture from something that's just pretty nasty, if we're going to be honest, and make it look really nice. So when you do this, I would highly recommend you take out your drawers and take off your drawers. But just so that I can show you here, rather than try and hang a camera from the ceiling, I'm just going to do it as it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the hardware. So we're going to squirt this with TSP and TSP is a degreaser and all that fun stuff and it's just going to get the surface prepped and ready and then wait for 15 minutes, get some warm clean water and then just wipe this off and you will see the difference in the surface, it will be less shiny and all that dirt that's been on this will come right off. I want to just fill in the holes where I took the original hardware off. Just get a bit here. And I'm going to take a 120 or a fine grit sanding sponge. These you can buy from any hardware store. And I'm going to just very lightly graze over the surface because that's going to remove any last bits of sheen. So by the time you finish doing this, you should see your project is going to be nice and dull. So in here, I've got my one-to-one -one mix of primer and basically a quarter cup of water to a quarter cup of primer. And that's good. And I'll show you the primer I like to use. And I, I always have a can of this to hand. It's the 123. It's a high adhesion primer and it's a stain blocker. So it's really good for not letting anything that's on the surface show through, any stains or, or anything like that. Um, watering it down as well means it's still going to be translucent, but it's going to hide uh, any imperfections that were underneath and not allow them to come through to the top while still allowing the gel stain to stick.
So now we've got everything dry on the cabinet. The, the primer's nice and dry. So we're gonna get to putting the gel stain on. The one I like to use is the General Finishes Gray Gel Stain. And it's really good because it sticks to everything. It's easy to apply and it looks good when it's on. Um, I bought this from Windsor Plywood up in Sherwood Park. They posted it to me. Um, I will put a link down to their site below. Uh, I'll also link down to the Amazon site where you can get the General Finishes Gel Stain from. A small one's good. It will last you a very, very long time. So the trick to using the General Finishes Gel Stain for doing this kind of finishes, you do not you need to use a lot on your brush. You literally just need to tap it in and wipe off the excess. You need next to nothing on your brush. And I'll do one, I'll do the draw front and then I'll zoom you in the, for a close up on the bottom one. So let's put that there. Hopefully I can get this right. So lightly, lightly dry brush it over and then go back and work it in. So you're spreading it out all over the surface and working it around and now you can see how where we did the primer, that's given us some, some definition, some, some interest in the color. So I'm gonna carry on. So I've got the gel stain on this one, and as you can see, it looks pretty good at the moment. Like I said, yes, of course, it's best to take off doors and drawers and all that fun stuff, but you know what? If you've not got the time or the space or you just don't wanna, you don't have to. I just haven't, and this looks perfectly fine. Like I say, this video is for those of us that just wanna do something very quick, very easy, um, could you do a whole kitchen like this? Yes, absolutely. Would it take a while? Yes, it would. But then again, any kitchen we we do or make over would. So we're going to let this dry. And then there's two more steps to go. I want to do another slight whitewash just to give a bit more definition. We'll put a clear coat on. We'll drill some holes for the handles, put some hardware on, and then we'll call it good. Now this is dry, we're gonna go back in with our original primer and water mix. And what that's gonna do is just give that little bit more added definition on the front faces um, and just make it a little bit more interesting because any gel stain is going to cover up um, any grain. And especially if you're doing it over a cabinet like this where it's not real wood, it's just the pretend stuff. So we're just gonna go in and give it a little bit more definition because if you see in these areas here, it's looking a bit flat and rubbish, we can fix that. So you do not need a lot on your brush for this and you are gonna go in with the lightest of touches.
And you can see the difference that makes already. So I'm going to finish this and we'll be right back. I'm going to stop there. So here she is, our final product. As you can see, I've put new hardware on. I didn't film me putting a clear coat on because that is literally like watching someone paint water on something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some clips now of a couple of really good clear coats that you can just brush on and that go on really easily. They don't smell. So if you're going to do a project like this where your cabinet is already in the bathroom or in the bedroom, then you're good to just brush it on and you're not going to get any smells over the house. You don't have to spray anything. You don't have to worry about anything like that. So yeah, and all the products I use, links will be down below. If you've got any questions, I will do my best to answer them. But I hope you like this one. Stay tuned for the next video because what we're going to do is we're going to do something funky. We're going to make a marble effect uh, top using epoxy resin uh, just to top this little old cabinet up. Thanks very much for watching. I really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do too. Bye.